This is Dapu7. I want to share with you here some comments that have been made by the former CDC director that talks about how he believes that C-19 was just basically a prep for what is to come, the big real pandemic, what he says will be started by a bird flu. Yeah, I think we have to recognize, I've always said that I think the COVID pandemic was a wake up call. I don't believe it's the great pandemic. I believe the great pandemic is still in the future and that's gonna be a bird flu pandemic for man. It's gonna have significant mortality in the 10 to 50% range. It's gonna be trouble and we should get prepared for it. I do believe that the pandemic risk is a greater risk of the national security of the United States than Korea, China, Russia, Iran. And with this new bird flu, so to speak, they're saying 24 million birds have already been killed and that this is something that's popped up in 30 states. Now with them telegraphing stuff like this, I think it would be wise to take notes knowing how they operate and what they've done thus far out here on this world stage. It seems some of the biggest players are just openly stating that the next one's coming that this is what it's going to be in the form of bird flu. And it's already here in the United States, this new variant, so to speak, that they're talking about. I'm going to break this down further on the live stream where I can speak freely about it. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern. You'll find links below and hit that subscribe button for more. It's been Dapu7. Hope you'll have a... Significant. Shalom. First thing and foremost, I'm going to give all praises and glory and honor that is due. To Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakabadash, double honors unto the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, peace and blessings and salutation to the hopeful elect. It was in the gospel of Rod, lifting up the standard of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, whatever it may be. Heard from the horse's mouth, this guy, Robert Redfield, director of C, uh, the, what is it, uh, you the three letter word, the three letter alphabet, which he's one of those big nose people. You can just straight up tell. You can see the wickedness in this man's eyes that he's just pure evil. But this is the type of devils that we're dealing with, man. All right, because uh, they're releasing, uh, they're releasing these particular viruses on people, and they're profiting off people's misery. Because how the hell you know that a bird flu pandemic is gonna be the cause of a lot of people being destroyed behind that? You know, unless you were behind it, because we know that this particular organization, as wicked as it is, they have patents on these particular viruses and diseases they spread upon the people. They release them, okay which shows you that Esau is nothing but a damn devil, all right? So this guy's name is uh, Robert Redfield, and I guarantee you he's a big no. He's one of a black hat. He's a, uh, a 1948er, so to speak. So let's look him up. He's an American anthropologist, exactly. <laughs> Doesn't surprise me one bit. All right, so uh, real quick, Robert Redfield. He sounds like an Amalekite. Nationality. Let's see what he, see what it says if they even tell us. Okay, American. That's a corporation. Uh, let's see who he is. Robert Redfield. Let me see something right there. Because, I mean, you could look at him and tell that he's a he's a big nose person. I mean, you could clearly look at that. They might not disclose it. But, uh. They like education. Let's see. Ray, national surgeon. Of course, he's a damn devil. He's a doctor, right? Personal life. Man, he's a big nose person. But regardless, man, you could just tell. You just see it in his spirit. He's a Malachite. All right? But this is the type of devils that we're dealing with. All right? But nonetheless, this is the plagues of Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shai. Because the scriptures say in the book of Edras that, hey, the Most High was going to send plagues on the planet Earth. All right, and we living in those times that a lot of people are getting ready to just drop dead. A lot of people are getting ready to be destroyed.
because that C19 was set up to kind of weaken your system. A lot of you people that took the juice and you get hit with this, you ain't gonna make it, man, okay? A lot of you people that don't succumb from the juice, I guarantee you if this does happen, which it will, all right, whatever they release and they, even if they blame it, says this and it's not, you people are gonna start dying, okay? Most of you that took the juice, the Lord is going to take you out. So, hey, he said that that would just practice, okay? That would just practice. But it says, former CDC, former director Robert Redfield has stated that the bird flu would jump to humans and be highly fatal in a coming great pandemic, which the C-19 was a mere warm-up. How do they know that unless they're behind it, man? All right? And that's pretty much all it said. It wasn't great detail, but this is just enough. Okay, so let's go right into the scriptures. Not even waste any time. Let's see what you have with Shai say. Matthew 24. And I'm going to start at verses. Uh, let's start at verse 7. It says, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there should be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. These are all the beginning of sorrows. Okay, these are the beginning of sorrows. Because right now, nation is rising against nation. You've got this Ukrainian conflict. Okay, you got NATO, America, that's talking about sending troops to the borders of Ukraine. you got Russians over there. Okay, you got Iranians, you got Koreans, North Koreans, all right? They're testing weapons, so that's nation rising against nation, kingdom against kingdom. Famines, they're talking about a worldwide famine, okay, a global famine that's going to pretty much put uh, uh, the uh, 1921 Great Depression to shame, okay, 1929, so like you. But uh, famine, okay, the, the markets are collapsing, the dollar is collapsing, and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places, okay? So uh, look up the word pestilence, and that word means a fatal epidemic disease, especially bubonic plague, okay? And they was talking about the black plague. I think they found like a strand of it in Colorado, but it's been hush-hush. So who knows, you know? This dude, uh, Gates, just released, I believe, over 100-something thousand mosquitoes down in Florida. Like, who the hell wants to release genetically modified mosquitoes, man? As if we don't have enough nuisance and aggravants or aggravants in the world now dealing with these overly populated insects i can't stand insects man you know but we know that they're needed to balance out the ecosystems but esau there's no balance in your system okay so this is the book of psalms 10 and 4 it says the wicked though his pride of his counsel will not seek after the most high for the most high is not in his thoughts so this devil right here he's not considering uh that the most high is going to destroy him because they feel that the lord is with them which this is the Lord's doing on the left-hand side. But the Most High is going to turn around and judge Esau too, man. Okay? And that's what we're trying to tell you people. It says his ways are always grievous, right? Because you're releasing genetically modified mosquitoes into the population. Cloud seeding, okay? Chemtrails, okay? You want everybody to take the juice. You're coming up with these different concoctions. You're locking down societies based on nothing, man. Okay? And people having 99.6%, even a person over 50 years old, have a 99% of surviving a C19. Okay, that's statistically true. You can look it up. But it says, thy judgments are far above out of his sight, and as for all his enemies, he puffed at them. He like, you know, right? How they gonna find out is us? What they gonna do? Stop us? But yes, the most high is gonna stop you, okay? Because you're not gonna get your NWO uh, uh, off the ground, so to speak. Okay, because all these pandemics they're creating, all uh, with this whole global famine, this manufactured famine, you know, with the coming MOTB, all this is going to make you people bow down and get that MOTB, okay? They got to find a way on how to cripple you people to the point that you literally begging at their doorstep for a solution, which is the MOTB. Then if everybody got the you-know-what, then all of a sudden everything could just somewhat go back to normal before Esau starts to do it, okay? Because after everybody accepts the MOTB, if that was possible, Esau, he still wouldn't be satisfied. That's why it says he enlarged his desire as hell and cannot be satisfied. Why? Because Esau, he would just he just keep going. This nigga wanna put a chip in bumblebees, man. He wanna chip gnats, you know, mosquitoes. He already chipping the damn animals. It's like, what more do you want, dude? You know, so my fucking dog or cat gotta eat a missile <laughs> or be destroyed because of your ass, you know, which we know animals are they're just you know, they're just another flesh that the most high created. We're gonna have tons of animals in the kingdom. But nonetheless, man, it's just damn animals don't even go off. And they got to suffer behind this damn devil, man. You know, that's why the scriptures say that the the, uh, uh, the creature uh, wait for the manifestation of the sons of the most high. Why? Because they need us to put this world back in order. Everybody is suffering, but you got Jake. They don't want to take the rulership. They don't want to take the mantle and take up the throne and rule. 
Okay, Jake want to sit up here and be under this wickedness, under this 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 tyranny, man. All right, and it says, and he said in his heart, I should not be moved, for I should never be in adversity. But his mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. Right, this guy, Doctor Anthony uh, Falsi, you know, he comes on and you know he says what he says, and then he goes into obs obs fucking oblivion. You know, he's obscure at the point he disappears and come back when he's you know got another agenda for you, Jakes. You know, but it says in deceit and fraud and under his tongue is mischief and vanity. And he sitteth in the lurking places of the villages and in a secret place of he murdered the innocent. Who is the innocent? You Israelites, man. OK, because this is going to hit you the hardest. OK, because they feel like you're medically deprived anyway. You know, like this morning, I was going into the convenience store to get something to drink and you know, like a little morning snack, man. I seen two little girls, man. Probably had to be no more than 14, 15 years old. With fucking hot corn chips, hot Fritos. Hot onion rings, pop. Yeah, it ain't even nine o'clock in the morning and they eating this shit. Two little fat girls. And I say, this is what, and I said to them, I said, this is what y'all eat in the morning? And one said, she said, not me, this is all her. But I look at you, you, you got bullshit in your hand too. And I just shook my head like, damn, Jake is destroyed, man. These niggas' breakfast really is sweets in the morning. Pop, high fructose corn, corn syrup, Hawaiian punch, Doritos. You know, which ain't nothing wrong with it. Some, some chips every once in a while. But damn, when that's all you're, you're consuming in your diet, you wonder why you're, you're, you're fucking degenerate, man. Why you running out here doing all types of wickedness. Niggas eating now and later for fucking breakfast. Like, what? Man, please. Wish my daughter will. Oh, power bomb my ass. <laughs> but anyway, uh, it says, places of the villages in the secret places of he murdered the innocent. And his eyes are privately set against the poor. And he lied and wait secretly as a lion in his den. And he lied and wait to catch the poor. That's why you don't see this fucking forfeit midget until it's time to put more venom in your ass. It says he doth catch the poor when he draw them into his net. And how do we draw them into the net with those fair and deceitful speeches? You know, the benefits behind it to the point they was offering Jake free Big Macs, free school supplies, $100 gift certificate just to get this. They was really pushing for that. But a lot of people fall back against it. They're like, nah. So they're like, okay, well, let's shut that down and let's do it this way. They don't want to listen to us. Fuck it. We're going to hike the gas prices and take the food. That's going to make them listen because, like I said, you Americans, you're highly led and motivated by your, 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 your provocative appetites, man. Okay. And it says, and he crouched and humbled himself that the poor may fall by a strong ones. But he said in his heart, the most I have forgotten, he hid his face and he would never see it. But arise, O Yahweh, O power, and lift up thy hand, and forget not the humble. The humble is the elect. Because of two-thirds of you, you're not humble, man. All right? You're just not humble. And the most high is clearly not dealing with the two. The two-thirds, you just got to get wiped out. You know what I'm saying? Period. Point blank, period. End of discussion. All right? Second letters, 8 and 50. It says here, for many, may, great, for many great misery should be done to them in the latter time. We're in a lot of time. Uh... That should dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. So this is the reason why the Most High is using Esau to bring the famine. You know, to bring the pestilence, the diseases, the outbreaks, okay? The earthquakes, etc. Okay? But thou shalt understand for thyself and seek out the glory for such as be like thee. This is why we have a commonality among the men of the Lord. Okay? We among each other. Because us among each other, we contain unity. You know? We're not with all this... Mashara, Yashara, all these unity camps with a bunch of demons that don't understand the prophecy and the breakdowns, man. Okay. So second edges 15 and 1. Speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, says Yahweh, and cause them to be written in paper. For it's faithful and true. Okay. So that's the whole point. The words, okay, the famine, the pestilence. Verse 5, behold, says the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. The sword, famine, death, and destruction. So we're getting ready to see Second Edges in its entirety plowed as a whole right here in Babylon. Because when Edges saw this and wrote these prophecies, he was predominantly looking at America, man, in the vision. Okay, though he's seen it around the world in different kingdoms and empire, this two prophecies in these books of Second Edges 15 and 16 was predominantly for Babylon. Okay, and it gets into it. It says, for wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. And how has wickedness polluted the earth? Through America, through the whore. Okay. It says, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Therefore, thus says the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more. It's touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Boy lovers. 
God biting is talking about it's a noble thing for five year olds to identify with whatever they want to identify with, which is complete fucking madness, you know. But yet you stupid bonehead Negroes put this damn this demon in office, man. And it says, but behold, the innocent and righteous blood cried unto me continually and the souls of the just complain continually. That's us. And therefore, says the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. All right. So that's the point. OK, because going down to verse 12, Egypt should mourn and the foundation of it should be smitten with the plague and punishment that the Most High should bring upon it. All right. So, look, man, this thing is getting ready to get serious. All right. We don't know what the hell you Jakes have been up to. You scoffing. But, hey, man, y'all keep playing, man. Y'all keep playing. The Most High is getting ready to visit America, man. OK. Bird flu driving up prices of turkey and eggs. See, that's another way for them to attack the food supply. So the price of chicken is getting ready to go up. <laughs> See how Esau do? But this is the Lord, man. He's strategically crippling, crippling the breadbasket of the world, man, America. All right. It says 2022 confirmations of highly pathogenic avian influenza. <laughs> the new deadly bird flu is affecting wild birds and may not go away. This is three days ago. What we know about the deadliest U.S. bird flu outbreak in seven years, and you heard it from the devil's mouth. Hey, this is going to be worse than the C-19. So, hey, man, bird flu driving up price of turkeys and eggs, more inflation. I was listening to it on the radio today. They said inflation is not slowing down anytime soon. So expect your goods and the prices of gas to be extra high, man. All right. But anyway, I'm in it there, brothers, man. I got to roll. Giving all praises and glory and honor. That's Duty. How about you? How about you? And with that, Shalom and a Baba Baba. Shalom.